Light off. Light off. Light off. Light off. Hi, welcome back to Dave's Little Shed Shop. Me and Mrs. Shed Shop were just discussing how we are going to cut this, which is an old wardrobe door, which I'm guessing is probably with something like chipboard inside on the table saw. Now I've put my outfeed table extension on the rear of my table saw, which is a pain in the ass, so take it off. It takes up too much room, so it's never normally on there. And I normally just use Mrs. Shed Shop or Master Shed Shop just to hold the wood to stabilize it so I don't drop it. Well, I've got to put this, which is a lot of wood, and it's fairly freaking dangerous because I'm going to be full stretch trying to feed this fucking thing through. And Mrs. S said, well, why don't you use... Well, it'd be a lot easier if I had something like, I don't know, outfeed tables or outfeed rollers, you know, like um, Rutland's make them. They're fantastic little Y-frame things, something like that. And they've got a roller on the top, big roller. You whack it down, yum, off it goes. You have one at the front, one at the back, or however many you need for however long the piece of wood is that you're doing. So, I went, oh, why do I need that? I know what I'll do. I'll just use my cheap Minotaur little bench that's rackety as shit. Oh, look at that. Terrible. And she said, brilliant. So I thought, like, okay, well, I'll stick something on top of it, right? So it's the same height as this. Use some couple of three by twos. Not enough. So Mrs. S said, well, why don't you turn it sideways? I don't know what you think, you turn it sideways off. Like that? No. This is one of those strange ones where you push a button and it fucking flips up. So, that's a brilliant idea. It's not far off of actually being the right chuff and height. Let's just, uh... So Mrs. S said, right, you whack yourself in a bit of Freeba 2. Brilliant! Look at that. Freeba 2, it comes in, it sits in half of it, right up to the right sod in height. That's Awesome. I like this idea. It's like my own outfeed table now. I can move this to wherever I need to. Bosh. Then it got me thinking, what about? These are, well, these are ball, uh, what are they called? Uh, roller balls. Feet. Oh, it, it's, they are called roller balls, yes. Feet. So I bought these. So. <sighs> That will roll around the shed shop. I knew I had some spares and left over. Let's just turn this into a real chuffing outrigger. That's the bloody word I was looking for originally. Now, I did say to Mrs. S, really I need to cut this down because I don't need it that bloody long. She turned around and she said, well, why not? If you keep it this long, then you can just buy more when you need to. And that's not a bad idea because these are stupidly cheap. I'll send you, I'll put a link in the description. I got them on Amazon, stupid cheap. But for now, I just put them a little space apart. There, that should be plenty enough to be able to support the weight of this. I mean, it's certainly wide enough to be able to support this. Yeah, and it fits in this perfect. I can lift it up if I need to. Can't put it out there because it won't be tall enough. No, but if you really do anything out oh, there, I the very rarely do anything here. that I need anything with a bigger outrigger on. So yeah, let's get these screwed in. And as any good woodworker should have, a multitude of stupid size screws and amounts and these are fives by 30 or you know, tens by inch and a quarter pretty sure I've got these from screw fix because that's quite a thick flint off I'll pre-drill yeah so it doesn't split open let's get that going That's really cool. These also don't need any lubrication because these are nylon, so no oil, no grease, no nothing. Get this pack away. Light off, light off, light off, light off. And let's see if this will work. Any direction. Definitely gonna have to order up more. They came in a box of 10, and now all it is is just getting the height right, right? Height yep. right, right? I think. That. That's brilliant. 
Why did I not think of this before? That's amazing. Sometimes I do have good ideas. Although, so far, let's see if it actually works. Here goes. Noisy. Okay, that is ruddy noisy, but I tell you what, it has a hell of an electronic brake on it. And that, these are going to go be shells. I'm going to put them up at my mother's. This outfit table, freaking perfect. I love that. Mrs. S is now taking dust out of her bra. I know you do, I need to see that. Oi, sawdust tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're standing outside the exhaust port. There you don't go. Oh, hold on. Put that bloody blade back down. <clears throat> okay, that is as far as my blade goes down, and yet my sodding riving knife just continues. I need to cut this off and reshape it to make it that shape or something like that bloody thing does my balls in it really does this works an absolute treat what i'm gonna do I, oh that's horrible so like i just killed a dog i'm so sorry i love you dogs so <laughs> what i'm gonna do with this is i'm gonna buy more of these like i said they come in a pack of ten. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then fill the rest up, which, you know, this will probably take 10. And that will be perfect for, you know, ripping me uh, four foot boards. That will be perfect for helping to rip that. I mean, I'm going to take off this outfeed table on the rear as I do every time because that's a pain in the arse and gets in the way. But this, is it? A bit of three by two. Job done. Perfect if you have one of these, obviously, where you can change the angle. But even if you can't change the angle, right, you can still pop it in. Okay. It you can still get out. a taller one or just attach more of these together. So if you need to, you can just grab a couple of off cuts. Right, whack them on there, and then you've got uh, your height posts, or even you know, close to the middle. You, you've got a couple of posts you can automate your height if you've got, you know, just a real nappy khaki, or even a black and decker. Uh, you know, they are the better ones, but they still ain't that good. Little portable workbench, because then they'll literally just go in there like that, and then this you can up and down it as you need to. I think I might do that anyway, because then I can actually use this as my outfeed table outside the shed shop. But it works really well, and I am well impressed by that. Eva gets, um, I don't know, 8 by 2 and then you slap it in so it's taller, or just pop some legs on it. I'm going to pop some legs on it. Yes, so yeah. See, Mr. Shed Shop going, you're an idiot. Thank you for watching today's little shed shop. That has been how to make yourself an awesome little outrigger. Like, subscribe. Click for notifications and we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.